What is up guys? All right, so I've got Mr. Barkley out here and we're doing some obedience and basically we're working on leash pulling right now. So as I'm working with him, basically if I get a tight leash, I'll push the button and I'll hold it till he's away. So right here, as I move away and he just comes, no button, but he's kind of lagging behind Barkley Hill. So I'm pushing, pushing, pushing until good, until right there. Now, um, he was, you know, quite hesitant to, to heal, quite hesitant to lay down, but we kind of worked him to where he's good with that. Barkley down. Now, something I found, um, good boy. Uh, he's, I've actually put longer points on his collar, plus I added another box to it. So I think it would be wise for you guys to invest in an additional receiver that goes right on the strap, just because he's, oddly uh not sensitive to the to the electric of the e-collar like the last dog i worked just a minute ago was working on eight and he'll be anywhere from like 14 to to 30 and that's with double units with the long points so that being the case typically i like to go longer and with longer points and another box now from here we could either either release with the word okay or we can go right into a heel. Barkley, heel, good boy. So I say heel, give him the opportunity, and he did really well on it, so I just give him that. And now as we're walking, heel, give him the chance, good. He came right back with me. Good job, buddy. Barkley, sit. Good job, kiddo. Now, in the house, come here, Bark. As we're going in, um, what we do, um, typically I'll have them wait. Barkley, wait. Now, if I'm not gonna stand in front of him, so if he goes in before I let him, I would I would have given like e-collar stim. So I'm waiting right here until he looks at me in the eyes. And he's not super quick with the eye contact after pressure. And that, that can be something that usually goes away. Barkley, sit. I'm gonna ask him to sit. Sit. Come on, buddy. Barkley, sit. Good boy. And then this is avoidance where he won't look at me. So I'm gonna do something he's probably never had happen. Good job, buddy. Barkley, okay. Good, and I let him in right there. Um, now for the place command, what we do is we lead him over to the bed, past the teenagers playing video games, and then we point to it, Barkley, place. And then once he's up there, we say, good boy, place, good. Um, and the expectation is that he stays there until we release him. So if he were to get up, what I would do, um, I would hold down the button on the e-collar and keep it down until he's, until he's uh, all the way back on. And then I would be guiding him too. Now these are not statues. These are actually living humans. Whoa, that one's a little angry. I don't want to get hurt, so I'm gonna quit video on them. Okay, now, next thing we work on is him staying, and he's just, yeah, real stoic about anybody coming to the door. So, good things are happening with him. Um, yeah, he's moving along pretty nicely.